let me talk about random forest method and let's understand what it is and how does it work so the random forest method develops lots of decision tree based on random selection of data as well as random selection of variables and it provides the class of the dependent variable based on many trees so let me explain you these two things in great detail the first thing is that it develops based on random selection of data so probably if this is the subset first subset the second subset can be like this third subset can be like this each can have different size of the independent uh, of the uh, observations that it is using to develop the tree there can be some overlap there can may not be some overlap that's the random selection of data the second part is that if there are x1 to xn independent variable which can be used for developing decision tree it may happen that in first go you took x1 x3 and some variables in second go you took x3 x4 and some other variables so essentially you selected random subset of data as well as you selected random subset of variables independent variables to grow the tree that's why these tree are random trees now when you have many such random trees what you get you get a forest like when you have many tree you get a forest similarly when you have many decision tree what you get is random forest how do you use that what is the benefit of getting many tree so there are two major beliefs that helps us to use this tree the first is that most of the tree can provide correct prediction of class for most part of the data so what you need to understand that decision trees are usually correct it is only some fraction some part of the data where it goes wrong and the second belief is that the trees are making mistake at different places all the trees are not making mistake at the same place so how can you use these two information simultaneously to get a better prediction i mean think of if you conduct a poll and if in the first case you are getting y in the second case you are also get second tree also is saying y third tree is saying y fourth tree is saying y fifth tree is saying n what will you take you will take y why because what you think of that probably this tree is making mistake because most of the trees correct at most part of the data and the trees are making mistake at different places so in your view you know this tree is probably making mistake with this particular observation and all other trees are not making mistake and that's why if you go by poll method you will say the correct class for this particular uh, observation should be what the correct prediction of this particular observation should be what why so the belief is that by using many decision trees which are random in terms of data independent observations that has been used for developing the decision tree as well as random uh, selection of variables you are able to use it better to provide a better classification of the dependent variable better prediction of the dependent variable and that's how you use the random forest method